Hey guys, so we're going to be asking people uh, what they're listening to, part three. Let's go. What are you listening to? I'm listening to the Subway Surfer soundtrack. Uh, no Hard 21 Savage. Haitian Scarface by Kodak Black. What are you listening to? What am I listening to? Yeah. Uh, Shicey Su Summer by Pooh Shicey. Pop Out by Polo G. What are you listening to? Um, My Tears Ricochet by Taylor Swift. Cool. What are you listening to? Goodfellas by uh, Nardo Wicked. Hello, Brownsburg High School. Thanks for watching BHS TV. Today is Friday, January 27th. I'm Bolu Atifa Olabi. And I'm Emma West. And here's what's going on at BHS. The Paw Print is a newspaper class you can sign up for and take during school year for class credit. Students can write and produce the Paw Print newspaper, which is published five times throughout the school year. As a staff member, you'll get to write stories about topics you're interested in, learn photography, learn design, go to various school events, and work with other motivated and passionate people. Talk to your counselor or see Miss Sauce in room B2408 if you're interested in learning more. The best buddy club next event will be on Tuesday, February 7th at Brandsburg Bowl. The event will be from 4.30 to 6 o'clock p.m. Attendees need to bring food to bowl and for snack. Please see Ms. Chrome for more information. Bring Change of Mind is a club focusing on mental health education and awareness. If you have questions about mental wellness or interested in specific mental health topics, scan the QR code and fill out the Google form to join them for their next club meeting. They meet every Tuesday at 3 p.m. in Ms. Buzikowski's room. B2404. Contact Ms. Buzikowski or Ms. Lesko for more information. Hey, do you know that the winter percussion are on season this year? I didn't know we had one. Well, BHS Alena would have some information about them. What's up, BHS? So, a lot of you may not know what the winter percussion is, but they have they put a lot of hard work in their rehearsals and performances, and we're going to tell you some more about the winter percussion. The Winter Percussion Ensemble rehearses three to five days a week, through the week and on Saturdays. Competitions start late February, continuing every Saturday until April. The Winter Percussion season did just start, so they are still putting the show all together. The season is, they're kind of picking it up a little bit. The pace has been picked up from previous seasons, like last year. Last year was like fast paced, but it's nowhere compared to this year. This season is more challenging. I feel like the music is really uh, just difficult compared to last season. Last season was, uh, the theme was about rain and this year this theme is just about emotions. This year the show is designed to also make you think rather than last year when it's, the theme is just, you know, whatever. In February there will be a WGI World Championships. They will be attending in Northern Kentucky and finals in Dayton Arena. Our goal is just to grow every year and to include as many people as possible in the program and to give them the best experience that we can. Okay, so I hope you guys now know what the winter percussion is and how much hard work they truly do put in. Elena Holtz, BHS TV. Thanks, Elena. I'm glad we got to learn a little bit more about the group. The BHS Tira department is putting on the annual kid camp. Kids from grade one to eight can join them for a day of Tira with a performance at the end of the day. They want kids to sign up as well as the high school volunteer to help them. Tell your brother, sister, and friend to come spend the day with them, learning all about Tira. Sign up at brownsburghstira.com today for an out of this world experience. Do you like reading but you don't have time to read for a book club or you just want to read what you want? Starting February 8th, the Any Book Book Club will meet second Wednesday of the month in the Media Center at 7.15 a.m. Any Book Book Club takes away from reading together part of a book club. Instead, you read what you want, then share with the group, or just come to hear what others are reading. So grab your coffee and breakfast and head to the Media Center. Senior, the 2020 TDBHS local scholarship are now available. The deadline to appear is Tuesday, February 7th at 11.59 p.m. Instruction for appear can be found on the Team 2023 website. If you have any questions, contact Mrs. Martin. Students, as a reminder, hats and hoods may not be worn in the building. The weather is colder and we are seeing more people wear these items. But staff members should not have to address you to remove these once you're inside. You have, if you are wearing a hat or hood, be aware you could be sent to ISS for insubordination. Please be responsible and remove these items as you enter the building and avoid these consequences. Hey, do you know that our robotic 
team came in second at state last year. Wow, really? Yeah, and BHS Jonathan Ellis has some more information on how they are attacking this year. The robotics team here at BHS is hard at work getting ready for their week one competition. Each year, FIRST Robotics releases a new game for robotics teams across the world to design and build a robot for to compete in competitions in their respective districts. I'm a member of the programming sub-team. Um, I'm also in charge of scouting this year, which is when we uh, go to competitions and we watch other people play, uh, and then we log their performance um, so we can use that to our advantage in competitions. So on the team, I'm the project manager, which basically means I lead the student leadership board. So I'm in charge of all of like the communication, the scheduling, the like making sure everyone's working coherently as one. Um, I'm kind of like the pair of eyes that's like watching over everything and making sure it's getting done. The robotics team's first competition is taking place during the weekend of March 4th in Mishawaka, Indiana at Penn High School. There's several streams, uh, First Indiana, which is um, where we compete as a team. Um, they have a Twitch channel and they tend to stream competitions. Some of the bigger competitions um, may land on local news, um, but for the most time you can just find them on Twitch. Yeah, 3176 has just been a shooting machine this weekend. They really upped their game. I joined robotics because when I was a kid, I would watch like the shows and see the robotics nerds on TV, like, you know, on Disney Plus or whatever. And I just always saw that as being me. So whenever you think of dominant BHS teams, don't forget Robotics Team 3176. Jonathan Harris, BHS TV. I thought it was more like BattleBots. Not gonna lie, me too. Now it's time for sports. Hey Rose, what do you have for us today? Hey guys, we got an exciting weekend coming up, but we did have a couple of teams in action this week as well. Let's get things started with the basketball teams who were at Zionsville last night. The girls' GB team defeated the Eagles 36-14 and were led by Mayana Bullock, who had a career high at 17 points. Elle McCulloch and Loria Snowden each had 5 points. That game concluded the girls' JV season with a record of 16-3. Nice job, ladies, and congrats on a great season. The girls' freshman team defeated the Eagles 35-17. Lily Kelly led the Dogs with 12 points. Sammy Clark and Brenna Walters had 6 each, and Becca Rogers added 5. Nice job. The boys' JV team earned a 48-43 win over Zionsville. Michael Addison had 11 points and went 6-for-6 six six from the free throw line, including helping to seal the game at the end. Jake Wilson had 10 points for the Dogs, and Kyson Nedenreap and Brandon Addison had 6 each. Nice job. The boys' JV is back in action next week at Crispus Attics. On Tuesday, the girls' freshman team was at Bishop Chatard and got a 49-14 win. Lily Kelly outscored the Trojans all by herself, finishing with 20 points on the night. Sammy Clark added 6 points, and Lauren Capperton and Brenna Walters each had 5. Nice job, ladies. The boys' freshman team defeated the Trojans 56-38. Isaiah Mayberry led the Dogs with 21 points. Ty Hopper had 9 points, and Jan Davis and Brody Davis each had 8 points. The freshman boys will head to HSE next week. Tonight, the girls' and boys' basketball teams host Designsville, and it's Fill the Fieldhouse night. BHS students will get into the game for free with their student ID, and there will also be free pizza. There will also be a raffle for a pair of Purple Air Jordan 1s, and BHS alum and current Butler basketball player Pierce Thomas will be in attendance in conjunction with the Alzheimer's Association. The girls' game starts at 6, and the boys' game will follow. Let's fill the field house tonight. If you can't make it to the game or want to watch it later on demand, make sure to tune into bcsc.tv. Our all-student crew will have the coverage for you as the dogs host the Eagles in the big HCC matchup. Don't forget to tune in tonight or on demand later. The girls' basketball sectionals next week, and the dogs drew a bye. They will play the second game on Friday, February 3rd, against the winner of the Plainfield versus Terre Haute North game. On the other side of the bracket, Terre Haute South will take on Avon. The championship is set for Saturday, February 4th, and all games will take place at Terre Haute South. Good luck to the wrestling team, who is in sectional action tomorrow. And good luck to Eli Kring and Lydia Hansen from the club bowling teams, who will compete at the semi-state finals this weekend. That's it for sports today. Back over to you guys. Thanks, Rose. Now let's check in with Alina for, a, for this weekend weather forecast. Hey, guys. We're not going to see much of the sun this weekend in Brownsburg. Today, the high is 39 with a low of 26, and there's a 50% chance of a rain-snow mix throughout the day with heavy wind gusts. Saturday, the high is 46 with a low of 39 and cloudy. We might see a little sun in the afternoon, but that will turn to rain at night. And on Sunday, the high is 42 with a low of 26. And showers in the morning with clouds in the afternoon. Have a great weekend. Back over to you. Thanks, Elena. That's all we got for you today, BHS. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday.